Good morning, friends and family. Thanks for joining me again today. I'm gonna jump right in for today's video with my makeup of the day. It's Saturday here in Central Virginia. It's gonna be a warm day, maybe in the 60s, I think. And so I'm looking for a bronzy look that uh, looks a little effortless, not too put together. And so let's get into it. My base products for today, I'm gonna use the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer in Nude. This is a great affordable option for an eyeshadow primer. Goes on nice and smooth. Uh, very similar to the Milani Eye Primer. Great option. I think I paid $6 for that or something. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer with SPF already in it. I do have my um, Paula's Choice moisturizer on with SPF 50. And so this will be on top of that. I didn't buy this for the SPF. I bought it because it is a nice emollient moisturizer. When you want just a little bit of extra moisture on your face, you can see it has just like the slightest blurring effect, but also provides a little bit of dew at the same time. I'm going to use um, my normal, <laughs> usual Becca under eye anti-fatigue primer for as much as i use this you would think i know the name like the back of my hand but i don't i have to look on the bottle i mean sorry the back of the packaging each time i will put this on underneath my eye concealer which is going to be the covergirl true blend undercover concealer in the color golden natural m100 this is probably a little bit light but I make it work. It has a bit of a peachy undertone and a little bit of yellow. Don't be intimidated by lighter concealers. You can always sort of blend them out so you see what that ends up looking like. Works out really nicely. A little bit goes a long way with these. Again, another affordable, fantastic drugstore option. I think I paid eight or nine bucks for that. My foundation today is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, the Dewy, the newer one, and this is in the color Golden Beige. Jessica Braun on YouTube turned me on to this. If you haven't caught on to Jessica, go check out her channel, Braun, B-R-A-U-N. She's just delightful, very sort of family-oriented, started off as a makeup YouTuber and decided she wanted to just do general lifestyle. And so she does makeup, Amazon products, hauls from, you know, umpteen stores that she goes to, including like Costco and whatever, Sam's Club. And I really enjoy her. Really delightful. Anyway, um, this is, I think, a great affordable option for foundation. It goes on, as you see, a little creamy. It is dewy in the finish. And I think this works well for a good five or six hours and then starts to break apart on me a little bit. So I wouldn't suggest this if you have an event to go to or really are wanting a foundation that's going to take you through the evening. Not the best choice, but a great affordable option for just every day. Again, I think I paid under 10 bucks for this, maybe in the six to eight dollar range. Can't go wrong with that. The star of the show, oh, wait a minute before I talk about the star. I am going to powder my face with the Aquasurance Compact Foundation. This is in the color Natural. This has received very mixed reviews. I do like it. I think it plays very well um, on top of foundation, under eyes to um, help your concealer set just a little bit. So a little dusting of this goes a long way and helps your other products stay put. Enjoy that. And now, <laughs> the star of any makeup wardrobe is your eyeshadow, at least in my opinion. Sometimes it can be your lipstick. We'll get to that in a second. But I'm going to do Natasha Denona's gold palette today. Here is what she looks like. This is a favorite in the YouTube community. And I think it was Mel Thompson that turned me on to this palette. It was one of her favorites, I believe she said a while back. In a favorites video, some really beautiful brown tones here, all the way from like your cooler tones up here to your really warm mustard tone here. Delightful palette, I enjoy using this. Different gold textures. For example, this one's a little bit more shimmery. Some of these are a little chunkier. There's even this shifting color here. 
Is the camera picking that up where it's gold and it's green and it's a little bit blue? You get a nice deep dark bluish color here that you can use as a, a shadow or a liner, even if you would like. Uh, by the way, folks, don't be afraid to use eyeshadow as eyeliner. It's a lot softer. Uh, and can smoke out your look really quickly without you having to struggle through an eyeliner, you know, pen or line and how that looks on your face. I actually prefer using eyeshadow, although I will show you a liner that I'm using today. Anyhow, I am going to stick in this color family here. Has some really nice, oops, new finger. Has some really nice shimmery tones. How pretty is that, that bronze there? And then I'll use like a gold on the center of the eyelid or something like that. Really pretty palette. Can go for every day and can also be glam. Really enjoy all of my Natasha Denona eyeshadows. Definitely my preferred brand when it comes to eyeshadows. Speaking of Natasha Denona, I will also use her tan bronze and glow palette for this color here, which looks super dark and intimidating in the pan but actually goes on really nice with a little hint of reddish undertone. I'm gonna use that for my blush. And then for bronzer, I could certainly use this for bronzer, but you know, why not be a little bit extra? Never hurt anybody. I'm gonna use the classic NARS Laguna Matte. This is a classic for a reason. It's a beautiful tone, works great with medium skin tones goes on super smooth. Isn't that pretty? So I'll use that along my the sort of hollows of my cheek, the sides of my nose just a little bit to contour that and along the edge of my forehead to toast the edges as the artist Scott Barnes says. And then we'll finish off the look with Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. This is a great, nice, dry formula. Love the wand, this sort of hourglass wand. It gives my uh, lashes great volume. Always remember to curl your lashes before you put on your mascara. For my eyebrows, I'm not going to sculpt today, but I am going to do a quick pass with the NYX Mascara, uh, Tinted Brow Mascara. This is in the color Brunette, a nice lighter brown color. Uh, to give my eyebrows a little dimension alongside the brown tones in the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I'm going to use the eyeliner Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Whiskey. This is a favorite. Great deep brown color to add a little bit of dimension. And here's a hint. Once you put that on your uh, eyes, go ahead and take a small smudger brush something you know in this range like that and then just smoke it out a little bit soften it up see what that does works great on my lips i always forget to show everyone lips i'm going to use the pat mcgrath uh, permagel ultra lip pencil in the color contour since i'm going with all of these brown tones that are going to deepen up my my eye look i want to keep my lips simple so a hint, either have your eyes be the star of the show or your lips. And if you're going to a night event, like a ball or something like that, I mean, how many of us are doing that these days, right? But if you do, you know, feel free to glam up your entire face. But my suggestion for every day is have one or the other be the star, eyes or lips. And so the lips are going to be subdued. Isn't that the prettiest tone? Really sort of natural um, brown light brown color there so that's contour and then i'm going to top my lips with alter ego the lip line by Lorac, and this is in the call the color this is in the color this is <laughs> in the color coffee connoisseur light neutral color there that will pair very well together see that and will complement the tones in the Natasha Denona, the brown tones in there quite nicely and has a bit, of, a bit of sheen to it, but not too much shine. So that's the makeup look for the day. Uh, oh wait, forgot. I always forget to talk about my spray, my finishing spray. Um, and so anyway, I'm gonna use the Catrice Prime and Fine Anti-Shine 
fixing spray to set my face and it'll make it last longer. This is um, not the shiny version. This is the matte finish. There is a shinier version. It's not shiny. It's dewy, really, that Catrice has that I love as well in the pink bottle. Let's go check out scent of the day. So as I said at the top of the video, it's going to be a rather warm day here in central Virginia. I wanted to go for something that is not too warm, too spicy, something a little bit fresher for today, maybe a fruity floral. And so that's going to be this one back here. This is Michael Kors Twilight Shimmer. Let's check out the notes for this one. This has main accords that are fruity, sweet, and woody, and a little bit of animalic tone to it. It has top notes of plum, red fruits, middle notes of loation, oud, and base notes of praline and woodsy notes. Let's give this a little spritz. I have tried this before. And one of the YouTubers described this as a very, like a rotten plum scent, which I thought was super odd, uh, but she promised that we would love it. And so I went ahead and purchased it blind buy. And I have to agree, it is very much a uh, deep plum scent at the top. It does dry down. I have tried this before. It does dry down a little bit oody with the praline coming through as sort of a hint of a note in the dry down. It is lovely, it is fruity, heavy on the fruit. Okay, so if you don't like that, if you like sort of cleaner lines on your scents, this would not be something that you would enjoy. I do love the bottle. It is a dark color with this sort of textured sprinkle on top, which is nice. I don't know about you all, but I really enjoy bottle presentation. For example, here's you know black iris alongside it. Love this, it's a great scent, but the bottle itself is just an experience. Same thing with sort of the Tom Ford bottles. If you like those linear, um, just simple, classic kinds of bottles, isn't that beautiful? You might like that. So anyway, this is the scent for the day. Twilight Shimmer by Michael Kors. I would say this is office appropriate if worn very lightly, but definitely a great sort of girly scent um, that's fruity. <laughs> the best way to, to describe this with a woody dry down. I enjoy it. Is it one of my very favorites? No. Does it have a place in my collection? Yes. Is it good for a day like today? Sure. I will say that I considered wearing Anais Anais. And for those of you that grew up in a, whoops, disaster in the perfume closet that grew up in the 80s and 90s, you'll remember this here, Anais Anais by Cacheral. Uh, I used to have a really big bottle of this and ran through it, saw this at the drugstore on sale and thought, you know, I want to bring this back into my collection. It's a cutie. I love the bottle. So I, I thought about wearing this for today, but decided no. And here's why. This is a heavier scent. I'll review this on another day. You really have to be in the mood to wear a scent like this. You can't get away with this every day. It's powdery. It's thick. Um, yeah, it's very heavily floral, but in a different way than maybe like uh, Michael Kors that is cut here with the, the, the fruity scents. So anyway... That's the scent for the day. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great one.